G'day everyone, James here with JWN Lawn Care and Landscaping bringing you another video. Um, it's another cold, miserable, shitty day in Melbourne. What can you expect? Uh, but I want to show you something real cool, right? We're waiting for Connor to arrive. He's going to be here soon, so I would actually better get changed after I make this. Uh oh. Um, I want to show you this quickly, right? This looks like probably the dodgiest goddamn setup you've ever seen, and it kind of is. Uh, but this is a little thing that I've I got actually for Christmas. And I was, uh, I've been waiting to put it on because I, all my drill bits to drill the holes in there, you see, were going blunt. And I've also got a new jockey wheel on there because the old one was just awful. And so my neighbour, Heavenly Michael, helped me bolt that on. Um, and that's much better now. Uh, but we also put this on. So basically the idea is, instead of having it out on the street all the time, we can move it back here, we can move it into the backyard, we can... Like, I do have the tow ball on the John Deere, so I guess I could use that to move it around, but this is a little bit easier. It goes like a solid one meter per hour. <laughs> it's very slow, I'm going to be honest with you. But, oh, oh Jesus. Um, but it works, right? It works. Um, and it does indeed actually move the trailer, right? So you just got this little, you know, it's hooked up to the battery here. Um, this is more meant for caravans and stuff. Um, with smaller trailers, you could probably just push them. But when you've got a big mower on these things, Full of equipment and everything it weighs a lot you're not gonna have much success especially with a little bit of a slope like this you can never get it up there so you just got these two buttons right let's see so if i pull that it's a bit of a exercise maneuvering it around here but you can see like it doesn't sound as uh, grindy as it did yes the other day either um, so it's very slow but it moves it right and if you want to go forward you can do that as well and you can go backwards and you can also free wheel it with this thing it just helps because you got that pivot point there right so you can actually you know move the trailer uh, it's a bit useless this way because you haven't got very much travel but you know oh it's okay so we just got a standard little car battery there and uh, you can unbolt this easily this is good, um, so let's watch you know, move, and away we go. The plug broke on me, which is annoying, um, but you know. So it's actually going to be interesting, because it doesn't really look like it, but there is a bit of a slope in this driveway. Um, I know that, because I took out a lot of skin on my arm on this uh, fence many years back, on a skateboard <laughs> going down it. Um, and yeah, so let's just see, because these aren't very good on slopes, right? They are just made for moving shit around. But if you say have a warehouse and you've got a lot of trailers or whatever, and you need to be able to move them around and, you know, get different trailers hooked up to various, um, uh, you know, utes or trucks or whatever, this could be a handy little tool rather than having to mess around with your, um, your trucks and moving them into difficult areas. So it means you can get them into tighter spaces. I reckon that's pretty good. If I'll stop it, it, it actually holds, it breaks. So the trailer's not going anywhere. Anyhow, so um, that's just a brief little video on this. Um, we're gonna go get the grandstand loaded up, get all hooked up and away we go. Just got a few to do, um, so easy day. But yeah, um, if, if you're looking for one of these, um, I would recommend it if you do have some tight areas, got some spaces that you might not be able to back a trailer into with your car. Uh, but you can use one of these too. Tell me what you think. Peace in the Middle East. Donate bats. Don't loot random stores, please. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one.